Hello friends, in this video I'm going to prove a very important uh, result uh, in circle geometry. Okay, now this is a statement, okay, or this is a theorem. Okay, theorem. Okay, what is the statement? The angle subtended by an arc at the center is double the angle subtended by the same arc on the remaining part of the circle. The sentence looks a bit difficult to understand, but I'll explain. So what they're talking about is, suppose this is an arc. Okay, so let me draw, this is say the arc of the circle. Okay, so this is the arc. This is the center. Now this arc is subtending an angle at the center. So you can say angle AOB is the angle at the center. Okay, so let me get a thinner pen. Okay, so this angle, angle AOB, is the angle subtended at the center. Subtended at the center. That's what we mean by angle subtended at the center. So this angle. And the same arc is subtending an angle ACB. Okay, so this is angle ACB, which is the angle on the remaining part of the circle. So angle, I can say by arc AB. Okay, by arc AB. So angle ACB is the angle subtended. Let us understand the meaning of the word. Uh, by arc AB at the remaining part of the circle. At the remaining part of circle. So let us read the question again. The angle subtended by an arc, by an arc here they are, we are meaning arc AB at the center, that means at the center is O is the center is double the angle subtended and the remaining. So what we have to prove is basically that angle AOB is two times angle ACB. This is what we want to prove. Okay, or That is what the statement is trying to tell you. That this angle, this angle, suppose if this is say, if this is a 2x, or we can go the other way. If this is x, if this angle is x, this angle would be 2x. That means, if you take an example, say, if this is 60 degree, let us say if this is 60, we have to prove that this is 120 degree. Okay, so we have to generalize it. So, what I'm going to do is, I'm going to draw a line. Now, one thing that you can see is, OA is equal to OB. They are radii of the same circle. So O is the center and OA and OB are radii of the same circle. Okay, so <coughs> to prove this, let me draw one very important, one very basic uh, theorem that you should know. Suppose if you have an isosceles triangle, okay, suppose these two sides are equal. So this is triangle. ABC. So let me name this triangle PQR. This is triangle PQR. If a PQ is equal to PR, the base angles would be equal. So if this is X, this would also be X. That in an isosceles triangle, this is an isosceles triangle, the base angles are equal. Okay, so let me remove that. Okay. Okay. So now I'm going to draw a line or a ray from C and passing through O. Let me remove this first. So let me draw a ray. Okay. So what have, what have we got? So now this is this is a ray passing through C and O. 
So can I say that O, oh, these two sides are equal or in this triangle, okay, so let me go slow, slowly. Let me drop this back. Oh. Okay. Oh. That's fine. Now, in triangle, in triangle AOC, in triangle AOC, what is, which two sides are equal? I can say OA is equal to OC. Why? Because they are radii of same circle. Radii of same circle. Okay, so if radii are equal, can I say that this angle is equal to this angle? So if this is, say, x, I can say this will also be x. Okay? Now, in triangle, okay, in triangle BOC, which two sides are equal in triangle? B O C can I say B O is equal to C O again why because they are radii of same circle radii of same circle so if radii of if two sides of a triangle are equal if this and this are equal what are the base angles of these of this triangle well you say this angle Suppose let me do a cross there. If this is say, if this is y, if the value of this angle is y, the angle of the the value of this angle would also be y. Yeah. Okay. So now that done, uh, you know a relation. Okay. So this angle, okay, we can do in different ways. On this angle. How much is this angle? This angle, the angles in this triangle adds to 180. So if this is x and this is x, I hope you understand this angle, that is AOC. I hope you can see this is angle AOC is 180 minus 2x. In the same manner, in this triangle, BOC, if this is y and this is y, this angle would be 180 minus 2y okay now what these three angles AOB AOC and BOC adds to 360 so now let me write this so can I say angle A O uh, so what is this let us name this D here angle AOD plus angle uh, okay uh, let me name angle AOB what can I say angle AOB this is this whole angle plus angle AOC plus angle BOC is equal to angles at a point adds to 360 degree okay Okay, so what do we know about AOC? AOC is 180 minus 2x and BOC is 180 minus 2y. So can I write now, therefore, angle AOB plus 180 minus 2x plus 180 minus 2y is equal to 360. So I can say angle AOB, 180 plus 180 is plus 360. Then you've got a minus 2x minus 2y is equal to 360. Okay, now taking all this to the other side or adding the opposite of this on both sides, I can say angle AOB is 360 minus 360 plus 2x plus 2y. So this and this gets cancelled. So I can say angle A O B is 2x plus 2y. You can factor out the 2, so you get x plus y. 
So I can say angle AOB is 2 times x plus y. Let us go back to the figure. What is x plus y? This is your x and this is your y. So x plus y is nothing but AOC. Okay, so let us write that. But angle AOC is x plus y. So in place of x plus y, I can put AOC. Therefore, angle AOB is 2 times angle AOC. Okay, and that's what we wanted to prove. See you in the next video.